Hey, what's up? Good morning, everybody, mm -hmm. or whenever you see this. Hey, um, here's something testable. I'm going to kind of think through this a little bit, and hopefully it makes sense. Here's something testable. I used to believe in God, right? Um, a lot of people believe in God. Christians believe in God. How come is it that most people, if you hear them speak long enough, about God, they start diverging on what their definition of what God is, or even what's revealed about God, um, given their experiences with God. Now we might say, oh, you know, everybody has, a, you know, their different personal experiences with God, just like we would on earth. You have different personal experiences, like not everybody's experience is going to be the same. Therefore, why should you even think that everybody's experiences should be the same? That's not what I'm asking, though. I'm asking, what does that information and data reveal about a person? You see, you and me and ten other people can spend time with Joe. <laughs> you know, Joe. And we're all going to have different experiences with Joe. Like, we get that. But when all of us get in the same circle and start talking about Joe, it should all be things that identify this single person things that identify characteristics unique to Joe, this Joe, not a million other Joes. You get what I'm, you get where I'm going with this. So how come Christians, if you hear them individually, start giving away things that they're certain about God about, it actually starts painting a different picture characteristically of that God. Now, so you can test that. You can ask your believing friends, hey, tell me the core things that are true about God. And listen to what they have to say and then go ask somebody else and then maybe bring up a difference between the two and see if there's an argument there. What I think is people tend to only talk about those very surface level materials about God. Oh, God is love. God is forgiving, God can save you, you know, these types of things. Um, I'm not certain that that even has anything to do with God. You know, that, that, you know, those ideas and attributes and characteristics can be true of just about anything. But God is something very specific. Um, so, like, go as deep as you can with some of your friends or even yourself if you're a believer. I used to do this myself. And... Um, just see how people define God and if people start defining God differently then there's a conflict there by the way there's a rubric by, by which um, we are allowed to define God and that's that which the special or special revelation was given to us and that's the Bible the Bible is categorically what apologists would call special revelation so the rubric that should be the only rubric um, because we're not trusting just people's experiences or whatever. So go ask yourself, go ask your friends to define God. And if you find that there's a divergence, now we're kind of understanding. Maybe people don't actually have experiences with God. Maybe all of this is their personal projections and group thought. Assimilating. Take care, guys. I always look over here, but it's over here. <laughs> Take care, guys.